dear children welcome to the google classroom again i am janisha your evs teacher hope you all are fine we started our second lesson rocks and minerals we have studied that there are three types of rocks based on their formation which are they igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks so far we have discussed about the formation of igneous rock and the types of igneous rocks so today let's discuss about the formation of sedimentary rocks how are sedimentary rocks formed sedimentary rocks are formed from older rocks that have been broken down into tiny rock fragments fragments means pieces so older rocks are broken down into tiny rock pieces these rock pieces are carried away by wind and rain and reaches the rivers lakes and seas when these rock pieces reaches the rivers lakes and seas they settle at the bottom and form layers these layers are called as sediment so when the tiny rock fragments reaches the rivers lakes and seas they settle at the bottom forming layers of rock pieces these layers are called as sediment so over millions and millions of years so many layers of sediments are formed and due to the weight of the upper layer of sediment the lower layers harden to form rocks such type of rocks are called as sedimentary rocks how the sedimentary rocks are formed sedimentary rocks are formed from older rocks that have been broken down into tiny rock fragments these rock fragments are carried away by wind and rain and reaches the rivers lakes and seas when they reach the rivers lakes and seas they settle at the bottom forming layers called sediments over millions and millions of years so many layers are formed due to the weight of the upper layer of sediment the lower layer of sediment hardens to form rocks such type of rocks are called as sedimentary rocks sometimes the remains of dead animals like their shells or bones get preserved in the sedimentary rock or leaves behind an impression that means preserved means the remains of animals like uh, their shells or bones of animals dead animals can be seen in its original form in the sedimentary rock can be seen as such in the sedimentary rock or sometimes uh, the impressions impression means the mark that have been formed when an object is pressed onto something so if uh, this shells or bones are pressed down to the sedimentary rock it leaves behind a mark that mark is called as impression so sometimes the remains of dead animals like uh, the shells or bones can be seen either preserved on the sedimentary rock or it leaves behind an impression leaves behind a mark on the sedimentary rock these preserved materials or impressions are called as fossils the preserved materials or impressions are called as fossils these fossils are used to learn about the type of living organisms that have been lived on the earth millions of years ago for example uh, we know about dinosaurs dinosaurs are a group of reptiles that have been lived on the earth for about 240 million years the fossils of dinosaurs amazing fossils of dinosaurs like their uh, skeleton and impressions have been discovered on in all the continents so everything we know about the dinosaurs is by learning these fossils scientists use this fossils to study about the type of living organisms that have been lived on the earth such scientists who studies the history of life on earth are called as paleontologist so the remains of dead organisms like shells or bones can get preserved in the sedimentary rock or it leaves behind an impression such preserved materials or impressions are known as fossils 
Fossils are used to learn about the type of living organisms that have been lived on earth millions of years ago. Today we have discussed about the formation of sedimentary rock and also what are fossils. Hope you all have understood the topic. You read textbook page number 10 and 11. From notebook you study question number 2. A YouTube URL is attached along with this. Watch the video about the formation of sedimentary rock. Also there is a test paper attached along with this. Do the test and submit it. Let's meet in the next class. Thank you.